I'm back! Yes, we are back. Welcome back to the live show in the studio. May not look that much different to you, but it is so much bigger in here. <laughs> we have a whole nother end over here that we're going to be building some stuff out with. So, anyways, welcome back. Welcome back to your next week's worth of training. We're on our 24-week challenge. We're in week seven. I'm excited to be here with you. I hope you're excited to be with me, too. So that's all good. So let me know when you're coming on. Tell me where you're at. Tell me where you're from. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you don't need. Tell me what you appreciate. Tell me what, all that good stuff, okay? Because we're going to get busy. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, listen, if you're just joining us, um, we're going to get started in just a minute. We are back in the studio. I'm happy. We're back. Got the crew around us. Got lights everywhere. Woo, the lights in this new place is off the chain. <laughs> and we got the Jill in the studio with us. Everybody say hi, Miss Jill. I don't even know where to look. Oh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we got new cameras, new lights. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do around here now? I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Um, anyways, I'm happy to be here on with you. So, listen, we have our 24-week challenge we're going to be talking about today. And today is finding the right investments for free. That's what today's all about. Free deals. Next week's going to be about paid deals. So, let's just remember that. So, free deals. How do you get free deals? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that with you. I am going to teach you today. So, hey, listen, if you're brand new, come on board, say hi to us, let the community know you're here. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see that you're on here and you're saying hi. Tell me where you're... Oh, my goodness. Is that Angel? It, it is. Both of us just about had a heart attack. I can't Angel. believe Angel's back on here. My New York is in the house. Welcome back, Angel. We've missed you, man. You done missed six weeks of the 24-week challenge. You better get busy this weekend. So, uh, so anyways, come on with us, join us, talk to us, tell us where you're from. This is your real estate investing talk show. I am Zach Childers. I am your real real estate coach because I'm a real real estate investor. That's right. You hear it right here, right now, what's working in today's market so that you can grow your business. I do this every Tuesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone. And we come to you every Wednesday with our Dig Deeper show to do what? To dig a little deeper. What are we doing right now on the Dig Deeper show? We're digging into the seven habits of highly effective people. We've already covered the th first three habits. Now those are what we call personal victories. So tomorrow we're going to dig into the next three habits, which are called um, not personal victories, but they're called public victories, things that we have to do to and how we treat others. So you should absolutely be on that show. So anyways... I'm happy we're back. We're in the studio. Man, there's some light shining in here, isn't there, Jill? There is. You got two of them right in your face. <laughs> <laughs> we're moving up in the world around here. We should have practiced. Oh, look, Angel said he got a little... Oh, a little sidetracked, but he's still trying to make it. Well, Angel, you know where to come, man. Come back here. Talk to us. Be with us, man. That's why we do this. Not to just for me to get on here and blabber in a microphone, but it's here to help you to overcome some of the challenges you have, the struggles, the fears, the, you know, the letting go and what's working, what's not working for you. That's what we're here for. Because remember, every Tuesday is our real estate investing talk show. That's right. It's our real estate investing talk show. Um, and we do this on YouTube. We do this on podcasts. We do this all over. It, it broadcasts everywhere. And so you guys get the behind the scenes look on Facebook because we get to talk to you guys personally so I'm excited to have you on here with us who's all on with us Jill we have Ed he's here with us he's been a great follower he's been following you for a long time Mr. He says, Ed hey, Edward Dad. yes I know Edward Talon is here Rudy is here what's up Talon what's up Rudy we've Angel Ignacio and why did Rudy just say hi to Jill and not me I don't know Maybe he likes hair. <laughs> yeah, Jill got a perm. <laughs> Let's not go there. I'm right? so mad about that. <laughs> oh, Angel's with us. Edward's with us. Uh, we've got Ignacio, Robert, uh, Michelle, 
Thomas, he says, hey, hey, hey. That's my line, Thomas. Hey, you can't say hey, that. Hey, <laughs> Shrew Wayne. Michelle Robert, awesome. Shrew Wayne. James Rue and Angel, he says, thank you. Um, welcome, Tyrone man. says, hey, Zach. Hey, hey, hey. Um, uh, I like this one. Ignacio says, it is beautiful. You look recharged. Hi, Zach and Jill. Yes. It's amazing when you put yourself in the right environment. Like, look, don't get me wrong. I love working from home. I love the fact that I can work from home because think about this. For the first five years of my business, I didn't get to work from home like I do now. I mean, I run and I humped and I flew and I traveled. I did all that stuff. But, um, but I get to do it now, right? That's the rewards of being able to go and do your own thing. So, but I will say this. I get a lot done at home. I really do. But it's different when you're around your team and you're around all the new stuff that's going on and the growth that's happening with us. And um, it's just, it's a blessing is what it is. So I'm excited that I'm here. Thanks for that, Ignacio. Uh, that was awesome. So... So listen, if you're just joining us, say hi to us. Tell us where you're from. I'd love to hear from you if you're brand new. I want to get to know you. Why is that? Because every Tuesday at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone, we do our real estate investing talk show. And this show is designed to help you. It's designed to answer your real estate questions. It's designed to teach you, get you growing, help you move forward in your business. If, you've, if you haven't been on here before with us, then you're coming on board in our 24-week challenge. This is 24 weeks that we've laid out... A and I got books flying off the shelf here. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's tw <laughs> it's 24 weeks of us laying out a model for the business to help you succeed. And uh, we've already been through six of those weeks. We're on week seven right now, which is finding the right investments for free. That's what this week is all about. So come on, let me know if you're new. I'd like to say hi to you. All right, Gracie is here. She says good afternoon. Hopefully hey, Gracie. She, she should be at this coming two-day immersion. Awesome. Stu is here, says hi, Zach. Hey, Stu. Donald says, oh, um, Don from Hamosa. Oh, Don. I'm sorry, I'm going to crucify this name, but Analytic. Analytech. 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 Just call it Annie. Annie. <laughs> hi, Zach and Jill. Good to see you again. You Charles too. Charles says hello. Hey, Charles. Jim says, hi, Zach, from Frisco, Texas. Oh, Jim, that's a good market to be in, by the way. Thomas says, from New Hampshire, went to L.A. and learned a lot. Boom, Thomas. Tell them, my friend. Tell them what they missed out on, Thomas. We, we took the house down in L.A., man. I mean, the stuff we laid out up there. Game changer for people. Game changer for people. I mean, I can't tell you how many people came to me at the end of day one and said, Zach, what you taught us in day one was more than I've learned in multiple seminars of going to. That's the difference, right? I'm doing this. I'm out there making it happen every single day, not just in my market. Look, my market only has a half a million people. I, I would starve if I tried to just be an investor in this market. I'm, I do it in all different types of markets so that I can expand and grow and, and get bigger numbers. So I know markets like the back of my hand, and that's what I help teach people how to really understand what other markets look like. So um, it's important that you understand that no matter where you are in life, you need to get this book right here. If you don't have this book, let's just start there. If you're brand new to me and you're trying to figure out who is Zach Childers and what's this guy doing, you need to get this book, okay? This book is My First Deal Playbook. Go to Amazon.com. Just search for My First Deal Playbook. Just search for that. It'll come up. I think it's like six bucks and some change. Get that book, guys. It'll help you understand why it's important to know where you are before you start, what are your resources, what can you do and what you can't do so that you're not chasing the white elephant, and really how to go out and get started in the marketplace today um, and knowing why market selection and market segmentation is so important. So, so um, it's actually Catalina. It's not Annie. I guess she has her name spelled backwards on Facebook. Oh, really? Um, Scott says, I'll be at the two-day event. Rudy says, hello, Zach, because he didn't say hello to you earlier. Thanks, um, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy also says, LA rocked. My wife enjoyed it and learned a lot. Good. We want your wife to participate, Rudy, yes. so I'm glad you brought her. I'm glad she saw, like, this isn't some smoke and mirrors and pipe dream, but, like, people are really becoming successful from this, and especially 
actually our students. I mean, we, I can't tell you how many students we had at the event sharing their success stories from working with us. I mean, it was fabulous to see that. So Thomas says Kevin Harrington was impressive. He okay, also dog. Ian was cool. Ian is cool. You know, he's our cool partner, right? He's the drummer, the rock star. He's the cool guy, right? So um, uh, I can't say I'm the cool guy anymore because uh, he's now the cool guy. Tony, he says, hello, Zach, Tony, and Tamla from Texas. They will actually be with us for the two-day immersion. Awesome, Tony. Way to go, my friend. So we've been getting blown up about our next event. So I'm here to tell you our next event is going to be in Tampa, Florida. Let me just put that out there. We will sell out of tickets again. I'm giving you a jump start right now for those of you that are on here. Um, we sell out of them last time. We sold out of VIPs like within the first two to three weeks um, that we opened it up. So I'm just giving everybody a head start. If you want to come to our next event, it's in Tampa, Florida. Um, it's going to be March, April. No, it'll March. be May. April, May. It'll be May. Yeah, we're February now. It'll be in May. So you got plenty of time to book it. You got plenty of time to get a ticket reserved. You got plenty of time. You just need to call the office, talk to somebody in our student advisor department. Um, I, my personal email is getting, or my personal Facebook account's getting blown up. Well, I missed this event. When's the next one? It's 707 247 4248. That's something that you need to be aware of. Um, I wonder if we, if we had a recap from the event. I wonder if Justin finished the recap from I'm the event. I'm not sure if he did. Oh. I know he's been... Oh, well, maybe we'll see about that. Now that we're back in the studio, we should have a recap of the event that we can play and kind of give you guys an idea of what some of the people were saying. So, we But for those of you that are just joining me, we're going to dig in. We're going to dig, dig, dig. We're going into finding the right investments for free. What's that mean? That means that you don't have to pay money to find leads for good investments, whether you're going to buy them, you're going to wholesale them, you're going to sandwich lease option them, subject to them, contract for deed them, land installment contract, rehab them, rent them, whatever. They're all investments, right? We've got to go on air. Are we, do, are, are we on air? Oh, we are on air. We're on air on Facebook. <laughs> we got to do our blog talk radio. All right, let's count it down. All right. So, I'm just chatting it up over here. We are on air in five, four, three, two. Hey guys, this is Zach Childers. Welcome back to another real estate investing talk show. You're joining us on the on the blog talk radio. And um, I'm going to tell you this, that we're live on Facebook right now. And we've been on Facebook live for a little bit because we're talking to all of our fans, students, up-and-coming investors um, and I encourage you if you're listening to me on YouTube or if you're listening to me on the podcast or if you're listening to me on the radio you should jump over on our Facebook um, that's where our community's at that's where we grow that's where we get to ask questions to each other um, so I encourage you um, go over to reisuccessacademy.com forward slash Facebook, reisuccessacademy.com forward slash Facebook, and join us on Facebook because we got some great fans on Facebook, and um, I'd love to see you over there. I'd love to see you participate on our Facebook page. That's where you can ask questions. Uh, but just on the on the radio channels and the podcast and all that, you just get to listen. Um, you don't actually get to engage. So join us on Facebook. It's important that you do that. Um, what we're talking about today is finding investments for free, whether you're going to acquire them yourself for a rehab, acquire them for a rental property, or even if you're just going to um, wholesale them or do some type of tier two strategy with them, uh, I encourage you to know that there are free ways to do this. Um, how do I know that this is a reality? Because we do a two-day immersion class and we put anywhere from 30 to 40 investors in a room um, and we have them all dial for free no paying for leads they just dial for free leads and and they acquire deals and we can you know the last one we did we we generated an estimated 1.1 million in projected profits the one before that was close to 600,000 so the classes just keep getting better and better and the students keep getting better and better at understanding what they need to do before they get to the two-day immersion but let's just talk about some things real quick with you I got some notes here I want to cover with you um, but when we're talking about free leads we're talking about leads that um, don't require us um, my computer battery is about to go dead uh -oh. and I don't think we found the charger did we um, 
What was I talking about? You were talking. Oh, free leads is we want to have multiples of these. So one of the right out the gate that you need to be aware of um, is free leads from Facebook or from agents, from real estate agents. OK, um, you can go to any agent out there and you can set up your criteria. And what do I mean by that? That goes back to knowing your market, knowing what the average um, house is that sells in your market, knowing the neighborhoods that you need to be in. And so that you can take that to your agent and say, look, only only show me properties that come up in these neighborhoods in these price ranges first day on market 90 days on market price adjustment things of this nature right and, and the reason that that's important is because you need to set that relationship up early so that you can then automate that and it just comes into you every single week or day as those leads pop up so it's a huge resource for you now the other thing I want you to understand is people ask me all the time Zach how do you work with so many agents well I only have one primary agent but I work with every single agent in this business, and here's why. Because every other agent that I communicate with, I let them know very clearly. I say, listen, I don't need you scouring the MLS for deals for me. I have an agent that does that. But if you ever get a pocket listing, if you ever get a listing that needs to be sold quickly, and give me a call, and I'll make you an offer before you even have to list the property. And it might show up for a day on the MLS or two days, whatever, but I can be the first offer in on that deal. So agents are very important. The other thing that you need to spend time in is going through like the online newspapers, the regular papers, the pinch of pennies, the penny savers, things like that. You need to be on those sites or in those papers or on those newspaper sites. Newspapers.com is one. Um, and you need to be always looking for motivation, motivated, you know, must sell, need to sell, fixer upper, uh, things of that nature that shows that the seller has some form of motivation that they need to sell quickly. And that is where the rubber hits the road in most cases is are you actively putting the time in to find these types of leads and services out there. And the other thing about the newspaper is you need to be in the rental section. Let's talk about this real quick. This is all free, okay? So don't come to me saying you can't find leads because I'm going to say you're not trying hard enough. That's what I'm going to tell you right out the gate. There is massive amounts of leads out there. You're just not tapping into them. Here's something that you need to write down and be very clear on. If you want to do 40 deals a year, you need 40 marketing streams, 40 of them. You need to do one marketing stream for every lead or deal that you want to do. So if you want 10 deals a year, then you need to have 10 marketing streams. And all you need to do is expect one deal out of each marketing stream. That's important to know. Rental ads. There are people who are renting properties because they're burned out. And let me tell you something. They're renting and you need to get on the phone with them because here's the beauty of a rental ad. Not only will it give you a burned out landlord, but it'll also give you a buyer because if they're not burned out, then they're probably what? Wanting more. So as a wholesaler, you want to find those guys, right? You want to know who they are and if they're interested in buying more, you want to put them in your buyer's list. This is why it's so important that you work the rental market. And I'll also tell you this, that more deals are wholesaled that are cash flow type properties than there are fix and flip properties. So write that down. The other thing that you want is you want to build your relationships with your title companies. They can't give you information from a closing, but they can refer you to whomever needs a buyer. So what does that mean? Well, you, they might have a closing getting ready to close and the buyer may not qualify or may not have time. Um, and so they're going to be pulling out where you can step in and they can refer you to the seller or the seller's agent and say, well, here's somebody I know that might be interested in buying. So the other one is property management companies. You just need to pick up the phone and start calling them and asking them, Hey, do you have any burned out landlords? Do you have any landlords that just aren't taking care of their properties anymore? You know, I'd love to step in and buy those from them and leave them with you for management. Those are all streams that you can start to control that are all free, okay? Free, 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 free. Hey, that's just a few of them that I'm going to work with you on right now. So hang tight on the, on the blog talk radio. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back. See, if he, was, if he was on Facebook with me, then we wouldn't be taking a break. But I'll be right back. All right, Facebook, what do you got for me, man? What kind of questions? Any questions so far? I just gave you out a whole bunch of free ones. I got more coming to you. I got more coming to you. I got more. What you got for me, though? Steve says, hey, Zach, if we attend before, can we attend Tampa? 
If we've attended a three day, can we attend Tampa? Um, that's a great question. I would think the answer would be probably no. Um, but call the student advisors. Get on the phone with Carly. She's the um, she actually is the one that does all that event stuff with students and who's coming and, and who's in the VIPs and who's not. And then that gets turned over to Jill and then Jill makes sure all of you guys are taken care of. Um, but I would call Carly in the office over there, 707-247-4248. Get on the phone with her. Good question though. Meredith is here. She says, hello, glad to be back. Steve is back. Yes, sir. Uh, Kenneth, he says, hey, Zach. Hey, Kenneth. Um, Deep Peck says hi. Deepak, good to have you here, man. Who else is new? Who else is new on here? Never seen us before. Never been with us before. Who's on here that's new? I want to hear. Hey, this is your real estate show, guys. This, I'm Zach Childers. I'm your real estate coach. This is why you come here to learn about real estate. But I need you to ask me some real estate questions. Uh, Robert Coop is on here. Mr. Coop. Mr. Coop. Oh. Did I see Toby just log on here? Toby Taylor. Toby Taylor in the house. Toby Taylor. Everybody's so quiet today. I'm with you. Where are you guys at today, man? We got lots. I'm new. Michelle Ellis. M Michelle. Welcome to the show. We do it every Tuesday, Michelle, at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone. This is called a Real Estate Investing Talk Show. We are in the 24-week challenge. We're on week seven right now talking about free leads. How do you get free leads? You pick up the phone and you dial, man. You dial that phone. You <laughs> dial, dial, dial. Uh, Deepak says he's from California. Deepak's from California, but did you come to the L.A. event, Deepak? Probably not. Probably Toby, not. she says, hello, Zach and Jill. I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too, Toby. We love you too. We love you too, Toby. We love you too, Toby. Hey, listen, where's your real estate questions at, guys? I'm just jamming away over here. I'm thinking you guys were going to hit me with a bunch of real estate questions today. Oh, Tyrone. Is Chicago a good market to invest in? Well, Tyrone, that is a loaded question. Um, here's why. Chicago is not the right word. Like, there's things you can do in Chicago that are good. There's things you should never do in Chicago. But it also has everything to do with the market that you're in in Chicago. See, the problem with Chicago is, is they built up part of Chicago, and then when a new area came along, they let that part go down to the, the drain, right? It just plumped. And they didn't put any resources back in it. They didn't do any revitalization to it. And they just focused their energy on this new area, right? And then when then, then when the next new area popped up, they just left that area alone. And it's kaplunk. It went down the drain too. So the problem is, is even in Chicago, if you buy in the right area, the question is, is how long are you going to be able to stay there before a whole new area pops up? Because they don't do a lot of restrictions in zoning and building there, and that's what makes it a challenge. But there are a lot of good little areas around Chicago that I know you could do some good investments in. But like when you're looking for like these $4,000 deals in Chicago that you know are boarded up and they rent for $600 a month, you know those are... Those just aren't, you know, always what they seem to be on the surface. So, we got some questions popping in here. Awesome. Also, let me hear them. Uh, Toby says, "Is Jacksonville, Florida, a great place?" For yes, sailing? Jacksonville, Florida, is a fabulous place to invest in. Uh, David Cole, he says, "Hey, I just wanted to say hello." Hey, David. Oh, my computer just went down. Oh, jeez. Um, Toby says she's going to be starting her business. Rock. Elliot says, what are some good strategies for getting leads in L.A.? Uh, get out of L.A. No, I'm being for real. Um, here's why. Um, it's not that I'm saying, you know, just debunk L.A. I'm saying that you have to understand there's what's called primary markets, secondary markets, and third tier type markets. And so LA is a primary market. It's one of the hardest markets to be in right now in, in our surge in real estate. So you have to push out to secondary markets. You have to even push out to third tier markets to start finding the right deals to, to invest in. 
Carly said that she had an interesting conversation with a realtor last night. He was pretty negative about working with investors. How would you recommend a new investor goes about starting to build relationships with a realtor so that they take them seriously? I'm okay. Thanks. Um, I would say don't talk to that realtor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would say. Because here's what I can tell you, and this is the truth, okay, is that – an agent that is going to be on your team and be good at being on your team is an agent that understands real estate investing, is on board with real estate investing, and there is a very simple question to ask them up front. And it is, do you work with investors or do you primarily work in the retail market? And I was just, I had one the other day hit me up on Facebook Messenger. He's a local agent. He's trying to get my business. And I just turned around and I said to him, I said, do you work with investors now or do you primarily work with retail um, uh, sales? And he said, retail. And I said, well, we probably wouldn't be a good fit for each other. And, and that's just me ending the relationship early so that I don't have to get caught up in the whole nonsense of, you know, them not wanting to send a low offer out or them being nervous about, you know, my approach or me wanting to assign a contract. You know, I don't, I don't have time for that. So, you know, the best way to find good agents is from other investors, but a lot of times they don't want to share. But it's also at your local real estate investors association. Those are, you know, a really good way to do that. The other way to do it is, is when you see properties that are in the market that you know you can tell are priced cheap you want to get a hold of that agent and see what they're doing <clears throat> so so um, Thomas he was at the event this past weekend and he says doing a new business card I'll post it when I'm done <laughs> doing a new business card yeah you need to <laughs> uh, Stu he says what should our best wiggle clause be with any offer wiggle clause I hate that word <laughs> Your best clause just needs to be inspection. You know, it just needs to be inspection is all. So, Scott Sweet, he says, I live in a small town. About 30,000 surrounding towns are bigger. Or about 30,000 surrounding towns are bigger and about an hour away, which would benefit me more. Which area would benefit me more, I guess, is his question. Which area would benefit you more? Um, um, what, what market's he in again? He's in a smaller town. He says it's about 30,000 people. Ooh, that's going to be tough, man. Um, yeah, you need, to, you need to broaden out. I'd go as far as an hour if I could just get more market share. Yeah, 30,000 is going to be real hard, man. Um, that'd be hard. That's going to be super hard. Edward said, you cannot change an agent's mind. I tried. Yeah, you're not going to change an agent's mind. I mean, look, I've got an agent that's been with me for a long time. And when we first met, me and him bunted heads. But he understood investing, just not all the creativity that I was bringing to the table. And uh, over time, when I started pushing him to do more of those and they were working, because he would say to me, well, why would they accept that? I'd say, well, just make the offer. But he would make it, and then they would accept it, and he would come back and be like, I can't believe they just did that. Well, we never know until we ask, right? right. So, um, Let's see here. Michelle, she says, what do you think of the market in Bakersfield, California? Uh, Bakersfield is actually a pretty good and decent market. You could still spread out a little bit more, but Bakersfield's more of a second-tier type market. So you're going to get a lot more you know, activity because the L.A. market and all that is like a Class 1 market. Atlanta is a Class 1 market. Dallas is a Class 1 market. So you got to get away from those markets right now. Hey, we got to get back. Yes, we do. We are going back on air in 5, 4... Three, two. Hey, welcome back to your blog talk radio show. This is Zach Childress, your host, and this is Real Estate Investing Talk Show. Uh, if you, you're missing out, guys, I'm telling you, if you're not on our Facebook channel, you're missing out. Um, while I'm taking breaks on the on the radio show, we're over here on Facebook answering questions for all of our students and our fans, um, getting their real estate questions answered right from the horse's mouth. So uh, if you're watching me on YouTube, watching us on any of those other channels that we're on, or, or on the the radio right now or even on podcast you need to be on our Facebook page you, you need to go over there and like that page follow that page that's REI success Academy dot com forward slash Facebook join us over there because I got a lot of great fans on Facebook that are asking lots of questions and um, we're answering them for them so hey guys we left off 
We're talking about week seven of the 24-week challenge, okay? And the 24-week challenge is all geared around helping you grow your business over the next 24 weeks. We're on week seven right now. And this is really about free leads. Next week, we'll talk more about paid leads and how do we track those. But this is really about free leads. One of the things you also need to start thinking about is code enforcement. Um, there's a lot going on with code enforcement. People just not taking care of their buildings and the city is stepping in and in, in violation. And you can go down and get those reports. And it's, a lot of times the reason that they're not taking care of the property is because, A, they don't even live in this area. They don't live here. So therefore, they don't know. They can't see it. So we want to get those people on the phone. We want to talk to them about the property and all the things that we can help them with. And so I encourage you to do that. Another avenue is any type of appraiser out there. Appraisers are always appraising properties, doing all kinds of things. They're in the network. This is a really, if you understand, this is about building your network. There's outbound dialing for for sale by owners. There's outbound dialing for rental ads. There's outbound dialing for property management companies. There's networking with appraisers. Network Networking with code enforcement companies, networking with attorneys, uh, getting attorneys on your team is huge, especially like probate attorneys, uh, eviction attorneys, you know, because a lot of times eviction attorneys get a list of people that they're evicting and those sellers um, may not want to deal with that headache anymore and they just want to get rid of the property. So you want to be on top of that and building your bird dog team, property locators, as we call them, you know, getting that network built up, getting that team put together so that you're, you know, you're in the right moment moments at the right time with the right people bringing you the right types of deals. And I encourage you to build that. One of the other things that you really need to focus in on is driving for dollars. Now, why is that important? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I learned this a long time ago, 16 plus years ago, I learned this one. Um, and that is I would take somewhere new home every single day. I would go a different way to work and a different way home so that I could drive through neighborhoods and see what's out there, see what, what looks shabby, what looks abandoned, what looks vacant, what looks like an opportunity. And that's the thing you need to be aware of. When it comes to free leads, they're everywhere. But they're not instantaneously unless you're outbound dialing, unless you're using the phone, you're dialing out. But the rest of them come through your network, okay? I'll give you an idea. I got presented a fourplex, super cheap, 15000 a month for $80,000, right? Um, anybody would jump over that deal. But how I got that fourplex was because I know a guy who knows a guy who knew a guy who ended up with a property that they didn't want and they came all the way back through that pipeline and it got back to me. I didn't know the seller directly, but it was about my network. It was about letting people know what I do, letting people know how I do it. And then, then they start sharing the information and more information gets shared, more information gets shared. And that's something that you need to be aware of that you have to understand if this is your business, you got to be talking about it all the time. You have to be talking about your business with everybody that you go to everywhere you go. This is your business. People won't know that you buy houses or you're in the house business of being a property specialist if you don't tell people what's going on. And so it's highly important that if you're looking for free leads, number one, you got to get your outbound game dialed in. Number two, you got to build your network. You got to let everybody know from attorneys to appraisers, to bird dogs, to property locators, to code enforcements, to the meter readers, to the postal lady or the postal man. You got to let them all know. You got to let them all. Look, even in my kid's school, I let them know. The principal brought me deals. I, we, I wholesaled one of them. They brought me other deals because why? I let everybody know what I do. Everybody. I'm visiting the doctor this morning, getting an allergy test done. And my doctor knows that I buy houses and he's telling me about a house that he saw that, you know, would I be interested in it? You know, like everybody I talk to knows that I do real estate and that is my conversation with everybody. And so it's important that you build that model around you. If you're just starting off, it doesn't matter. You need to let them know, Hey, I'm getting into real estate. If you find any deals, I'd like to know about. If you're seasoned and you think you're doing just fine, you're not. You could do more. You got to let people know. That's what today's message is all about. It's about you acknowledging that you could do more on a regular basis, but it requires you to get out there and not always using the excuse. You know, a lot of people use the excuse, oh, well, I don't have money for marketing leads. That's not true. There's free leads out there. Co-wholesale. You could JV a co-wholesale deal like I did Brett Wade. 
Found a wholesaler with a deal, found a wholesaler with a buyer, $12,000 assignment fee. He collected $4,000 off that assignment fee for putting that deal together. And he never had a buyer. He never had a seller. He never spent $1 on marketing. Guys, you got to understand something. You can tell yourself constantly that you need this before you get started. You need this before you get started. You need this before you get started. But the reality is, is at the end of the day, you don't need anything but the will to get up and go do it. That's all you really need. If you have that, then you're in for the long run. So I had a little post-it note up here. Well, now I can't find it. I got one over here, but I, don't, I doubt it's the one you're looking for. <laughs> no, it was yellow. I was supposed to mention something. And I haven't done that. Hey, anyways, I'm going to go back to my Facebook uh, chat, my Facebook fans. I am burning up with all these lights in here. Uh, but listen, Blog Talk Radio, you guys... I hope you guys um, are enjoying your your time with me, short and sweet, but I'd love to see you on Facebook so that we can actually answer your questions. Hey, this is Zach Childress, your real estate coach. I'll see you guys again next week. All right, Facebook, don't go nowhere. I'm back with you guys. I'm back. I got Facebook. I got YouTube. I got all this stuff going on, man. I'm a little excited to be back in the studio. Can you guys tell? I'm excited. What do we got, Jill? We Read me have. off some stuff. Uh, Thomas, he says he has two agents working on his terms. Two agents working on your terms. I love that. Yep. Uh, Michelle, she says, what about Oxnard or Ventura County? Oxnard? Oxnard, you wouldn't. Oxnard. What a funny name. Oxnard. What was the other one? Ventura? Ventura. Oh, man, if you want to play in that world, yeah, but I wouldn't. I mean, look, if you're out in California, I would start looking for anywhere I could buy houses under that $350,000 range. Wherever those markets are is where I would go after. I want to give a shout out. AC popped on here. Yeah, what is this thing? You see this? What? I get green boxes. Yeah, it tells you when somebody's on there. No, and, but it oh, says. They're try it's a private chat. Chat about this video. Yep, it's mm. a private chat. Um, also, Megan from Aria hopped on here with us today. Megan, good to have you on here. Uh, Meredith, she says, what do you think of the Memphis, Tennessee area? In researching, I've noticed a flood of investors. Yes, well, Memphis, Tennessee is one of those markets where you can get a lot of cheap houses. Um, you got to be careful about your reserve accounts there and the locations of them. Um, it can be a little deceiving. Lots of investors move in there because there's a big turnkey company there <coughs> that does about 500 houses a year. And, um, you know, but... They sell those houses for way too much, if you ask me, in my personal opinion. But I'm a fan of Knox or Memphis. Uh, I'm a better fan of Chattanooga, Knoxville, more than anything. So, then Shrew Wayne says, "Hey Zach, how can I find an agent?" Sure, Wayne says, "How can you find an agent? Mm -hmm. uh, go to Realtor.com." Go to Realtor.com and then put in your market and then it'll have filtering. And in those filterings, it can say, what are you looking for, a buying agent or a selling agent or both? Click both. And then it will also ask you, like, um, do you want them to have, you know, special skill sets? So you can say foreclosure because any agent that's working in the foreclosure world is an investor-friendly agent. Uh, Rudy, he says, tell us about your new automated deal software. Uh, that's a negative there, <laughs> Ghost Rider. <laughs> Listen, if, uh, today is not a day that I, uh, I'm going to be selling you anything, Rudy. But if you want to call the office and talk to somebody, it's a pretty crazy software, man. Um, it will do more for you in three minutes than you could do an entire month on your own. Okay, Automated deal maker. Go to 707, phone number. 247-4248. Pick up the phone, call somebody over there, talk to a student advisor, and tell them to explain it to you. They'll help you out. Uh, Ignacio, he says, how do you judge how much to charge for a fee for your wholesale? Is it always $10,000? No, it's not always $10,000. It also has a lot to do with the price point of the house, um, where it's located at. And at the end of the day, you just want to make sure that you're, you're charging enough that your investor's making good money and they're going to want to come back, right? Like I know some wholesalers out like the Phoenix, Mar I mean, some crazy wholesalers that could, like the stuff that they do is just shady. It's all get out, man. Um, but like there was one the other day, a student brought me, um, the wholesaler wanted $45,000 assignment fee on this deal. 
And the deal just wasn't a deal. With the $45,000 assignment fee, the deal was at like almost 87% of ARV. And I'm thinking like, who's teaching these guys? Like, who's teaching these guys how to wholesale? They're trying to get rich on one wholesale deal. And the problem with that is, is the investors they're bringing it to are never going to go back to them again. And they might do one and then they're going to be out of business. They're going to be out of business. Nobody's going to want to work with them again. So you got to really think about what's the end result from this. Think with the end in mind, right? Seven habits of highly effective people, right? Think with the end in mind. What's the end result that you want from that relationship? What is it that you want to achieve? Uh, do you want to sell them once and never see them again? Or do you want to sell them a deal and then come back three, four, five times that year buying more deals from you? You got to think about the end in mind. I think that it would be smart to have them come back and buy deals from you four oh, or five yeah. times. Yeah, somebody <laughs> turned the heater on up in this place. You're you're hot and I'm freezing. Man, I got like I'll I can take reach out and lights. touch these lights. I'll I can take reach your Reach out lights. and touch them. I'll take your lights. You'll take my lights. I'll take your Yours lights. Yours are awful close to you. I don't know if I want mine <laughs> that close. You know, this is what happens when you hire a, a actual production guy that knows what they're doing. <laughs> so, Meredith says, I've seen a lot of inflated real estate and a lot of foreclosures when folks are almost upside down. Yes. Um, Anthony says, in Albuquerque, I'm in Anthony in Albuquerque, New Mexico. How can I find comps? They don't give those out in this state. I can find one, but I'm having trouble finding more. Yeah, comps, you can get them in Albuquerque. You just got to get them through an agent. Um, it's called a CMA report. Uh, Albuquerque is kind of like Alabama. It's a, it's been, it pushes the borderline of what's called um, non-disclosure state, which means that they don't readily give out people's information in that state, which is actually good for anonymity purposes. But it, um, it makes it a little bit more challenging when you're trying to research property. So you have to go to an agent and get a CMA report. So, God love Ed. He said, I did a deal. All I got was $500. It don't matter, Ed. You, look, my first deal I ever did, I made $1,200 on it. <laughs> I'm, look, I made $700 more than you. <laughs> but it got me to understand that it works. I did everything like I was supposed to. I went through the process. I received a check. I went to the bank. I cashed it, and I made $1,200. Do you remember when I had, had bird dogged or... Um, put a buyer into somebody's property for them. Yes. And I made $20 and they put it in my tip jar because I was a bartender. And so the person who bought the property was my bar back. So I actually had to give him tip out off of my, <laughs> <laughs> and then I met you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, you should have made more than that. Yeah. That was a funny story. That, that Am I using funny. LED lights? They are not as hot. Actually, was, I'm probably using what I've had for years that I've just never um, enforced until Justin came along. And if it was up to Justin, I would he would have bought all new stuff. But, you know. These are, I do believe. I'm like, are. use what we got. <laughs> Maybe that's why yours are hot and mine aren't. Maybe I got new bolts and you didn't. I don't know. So. Um. All right, so Deepak says, everyone, Talon says, I just want to know the cash and cash, um, what percent is a good return? Um, that, you know, I get that question all the time. And his question is, is on the cash on cash return, what percentage is a good return? I get that question all the time. And here's my answer to you. What percentage are you making on your money now? Right? If you're making 10% on your money now, then anything over 10 is good, right? So it's not really this generic answer out there. It's really based on you personally. I know for me, my portfolio runs at about 36, 37% cash on cash return. So anything less than that is not a good return for me because then it's just going to bring down my portfolio. So I'm always looking for returns that are greater than that um, to help increase my portfolio. So that's a question you got to ask yourself. And I promise you, if you're out there wholesaling these deals to landlords who are getting banks buying deals from agents, they're probably making eight to 10% on their on their deals if you bring them a deal that's making 15 20 percent cash on cash return they're gonna love you yes everybody's gone quiet well beautiful that means we did a good job today yeah 
I think they just must be so enamored by the beautiful studio. Woohoo! Hey, if you guys are getting value out of this 24 week challenge, I need you to type it in right now. I need you to type it in. Love the show. 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 Show, type that in for me. Let me know you're with me. Um, remember, guys, you, if you're not, if you already haven't liked this page or you're not following this page, you need to go up above. You need to like it. You need to follow it. Also, give me a review. Um, tell me what you think about the show. Tell me the information you've received from the show. Tell me how it's helped you. I re I read those reviews, um, especially if you write something. I read them. Um, if you give me less than a five star, then I'm going to ask you what could I've done different, right? I'm always looking to improve. So your input on that will help me on the review section. Um, but tell me that you love the show. If you're liking the 24 week challenge, I think that's important uh, to just stay that way. Stay engaged with me. Stay. I know that you guys are receiving this information. Um, helps me prepare, you know, that we keep doing these because, you know, these are time consuming. Um, and Obviously, there are other things I could be doing, but I love doing this because I love when you guys participate, and I love hearing your success stories, and I love when you guys engage and you get a lot of value out of this. Um, Angel. Yes. Um, he says, hi, Zach and Jill, just back from L.A. Uh, then we have, we got a bunch of I love the show. Rudy said, love the show, love the show, love the show, love the show. Uh, Donald says, love the show. Jim says, love the show, and roll Todd. <laughs> uh, Calvin, funny. he says, I've been finding decent deals in LA, but nothing out of um, invest, but running out of investors to fund deals. You need to get out of California, Calvin. I mean, I'm not saying you personally. You need to move out into other markets and start a wholesaling business in other markets. It's much easier. I promise you, it's much easier. One of the best things I ever did when I lived in California was get out of there. Um, I went into Ohio and Kansas and Missouri and Oklahoma and Texas and Tennessee and Virginia. I went all through there just finding deals and wholesaling those off to California buyers. Um, so you need to think about the game that you're playing. So, man, I appreciate all the love of the shows. Where's my thumbs up? Where's my hearts? Where's all that at? You guys went lazy on me here. That that lets me know you're with me, okay? So, um, anyways, listen, I enjoy this with you guys. I enjoy doing it. Don't forget about the Dig Deeper show. We get thousands of people that watch these real estate investing talk shows, but I need more of you on the Dig Deeper show because that's really where we start breaking down who we are and what we need to be thinking about and changing our habits and the way we look at stuff. We're halfway or we're almost halfway through The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. And that book alone will change the way that you see things if you just pay attention to it. So, um, And I'm breaking it down for you. I'm literally giving you cliff notes per chapter so that you can consume it at a much faster rate. So um, would love to have you guys on that show as well. Wednesdays at 1.30 Eastern Time Zone, we do it. Same bat channel, same bat time, same bat place. Boom. Don't forget to like and share the page. Yes. Thank you, Jill. Tell them. <laughs> yes. Listen, everybody always says, Zach, you give us so much. What can I do for you in return? Share this message. Share it. That's what you can do for me. I appreciate all the thank yous and the, and the messages that you guys send me in the private message board. Uh, and that, that that's great. I appreciate those. I embrace those. It makes me realize I'm doing the right thing. But at the end of the day, if we're going to change people's lives, then I need your help. you got to share this message. you got to get it out there. Let other people hear it. Let other people see it. Let other people engage so that we can all be influencers in helping people find a destiny that they want to go down. So. Well, Michelle actually has something to say to you. She says, the show is helping me to understand a little more at a time. Thank you. I do love the show. It's time, consume, time consuming is good. We get a double back on the amount of time that we spend in class to do the homework. See you tomorrow. Love it, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Cal you. Calvin, he says, I'm a contractor that is fixing and flipping for investors and getting equity share at the end if I, if I come in under budget. Um, have you done anything in the Quad Cities? No, I haven't. I gave oh. my realtor a copy of your book. <laughs> 
That's a good way to start. Rudy's talking about my book right here. This thing, I can't keep it on the shelves, guys. I am literally can't keep this around. They fly out of here so fast. People are giving them away. People are giving them their brothers, uncles, aunts, kids. Um, I'm impressed at how far this book has gone. And this book has gone global. We've got, I, I, I can't even go through the list, but I know they come to me and they say, Zach, um, shipment to this country, $60. $60 for this book? You kidding me? But hey, we told them it's free, you know, plus shipping. Um, so, so yeah, the book has gone global, and it's all because of you guys getting the message out there. Go to Amazon, pick it up if you don't have it. It's called My First Deal Playbook. It's on Amazon right now. Leave me a review on Amazon after you buy it. Um, I think it's important that other people hear from you and that you've read it and you've enjoyed it. Um, reviews are very crucial to somebody's decision making. And um, if I can get this book into 10,000 people's hands this year, which I think we're, all, we're probably close to half of that already, um, that would make me a happy person. So, um, so join on with the mission here to help 10,000 people change their financial lives through real estate. Uh, get the book yourself if you don't have it. Share it with others. Tell other people about it. And um, I look forward to just uh, hanging out with you guys again tomorrow. We're back in here in the studio tomorrow. We're going through the seven habits. We're moving into public victories now. We just came out of private victories. Now we're moving into public victories. And that's all about what? Win-win. We got to move into win. How do, how do I win and how do you you win. Also, I need to understand you before you understand me. That's seek to understand before being understood. These are things that are in the public victories. We just talked about the three habits for personal victories. That's all tomorrow. You don't want to miss the Dig Deeper show tomorrow. It's highly important. Guys, I've kept you here a while. This is Zach Childress. I am your real estate coach. If you have any questions about products, services, systems, events, mentoring, coaching, just pick up the phone, call the office. We're here Monday through Friday. Talk to somebody. Talk to a student advisor. 707-247-4248. 707-247-4248. Talk to somebody that has your interest in mind. That's us, REI Success Academy. I'm Zach Childress, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye now.